everybody and welcome to yet another episode of Jack Pale and Jeep Dodge Chrysler Ram with your favorite host, M3, or Mr. Hollywood as they like to call me now. I guess I've been promoted. Today we're going to talk about the 2019 Jeep Grand Cherokee Upland. So this is a little bit higher than Laredo. You got some nicer accents. The car looks more aggressive, especially with this bright white paint. You do happen to have the emblems highlighted. Now, notice they are they appear to be black, but they're really blue accents, right? They're really dark blue. Once you get up close, you'll start seeing the thickness of the blue. It's like a really dark blue color. You see that? It's beautiful. I love this trim. You have the nice different wheels, the upgraded wheels on this one, so it looks more aggressive. The black trims on the mirrors, as well as the blue trims on the emblems. And all around just a nice looking package. This one does have keyless entry, which means all you gotta do to open the car is if you have the key in your pocket. All right, I'm gonna lock it first. Then all I gotta do is put my hand through the door handle, it will unlock the car for me, and I can just pull the door, right? To lock the car, all I gotta do is press this button, and we're ready to go. You also notice blind spot monitors, very important for the safety of the people you are carrying in your car. It will beep, uh, or chime rather, and flash if you put your turn signal on and try to turn into a spot where there is a car in your blind spot. The trunk is of course very roomy because this is like Grand Cherokee. So with the push of a button, I open up the trunk and you will see all the space that it has. Look at this. How much stuff could you fit in here? A lot. As the great rapper would say, that's a lot. Right, you lift this up, you have your spare tire, your little bins that you can put ice in because they are leak proof. You can put ice in there, put some sodas, have some tailgating fun, and then at the end, grab the little bin, pour the ice out, and you're clean and good to go. Very important feature, grocery bag hangers and hooks, that way they don't slide around the entire car. The back seats are 60-40 split, and they do have two positions, a reclined position and a regular position, so it's up. And you can lean it back a little bit more so it's more comfortable for your passengers. In the back, for the for the passengers in the back, there's a full wall plug outlet and two USB plugs. So you can split the kiddos and have them play two different things. And you can charge your laptop at the same time. The trunk does not require to be opened manually or pulled down manually. You're gonna press the button right here, which is Conveniently located on the side, notice this, a lot of manufacturers place them up top here, which for those that are below five, six feet is not challenged because then they have to start jumping up to reach the button. I have a colleague that constantly used to do that at Mercedes. Um, press the button to lock it. This is a safe. There is a fail safe in here. If somebody comes in contact with it, it won't close on you, so it won't do any damage to any body parts. Uh, you, of course, have the... the, the the uh, gas cap is now, you have to push a button on the inside once it opens. There is no fuel cap that turns, it's just a plug and play. You just put it in and it's done. Uh, we're gonna go into the interior features now and we'll talk a little bit about the creature comforts of this particular model. See you inside. Okay, welcome to the interior of the Jeep Grand Cherokee 2019 Upland. You will see the anthracite black headliner, very first thing that stands out. Also a sunroof, moonroof, not the panoramic, but it's good enough for most of our needs. Uh, garage door opener on the roof as well. Of course, vanity mirrors because we got to look how pretty we are everywhere we go. And then you will immediately see that this is not a leather interior. This is a cloth interior, but it looks nice nonetheless. You got the nice roomy seats which hold you in with the edges. They are power seats, of course, because it's 2019 and cars should have power. Uh, leather steering wheel with blue highlight stitching. And the blue highlight stitching you will see in a lot of the spots. So that's the Upland blue packaging right there. I love that color, so this drives me crazy. To most of, most of you are probably thinking I'm insane right now, but it's just something I like. Of course, seven inch heads up display, which you can customize to your liking with either digital or analog view of your speedometer, you can change it to kilometers and miles per hour. So if you wanna impress your friends on Snapchat of how fast you're going, just change it to kilometers real quick. Take a picture while you're going 120 when in reality you're only going 65. Um, you can of course check your messages and uh, you change your audio on here. 
as well as your stop start ready function which i'll go over in a little bit yeah very easy to use once you get used to it. it's up down left right and okay there's buttons in the back of the steering wheel that control volume and the channels of your radio or sirius fm cruise control on the right lights are over there and here would be where adaptive cruise control would come in on the higher trim levels. Phone and voice controls, which this actually translates into OK Google and Siri. Why? Because once you plug in your Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, it will automatically know what to do. But let's get into what most people care about, which is the 8.4 inch touchscreen with navigation installed. Very easy to use. You can customize it to your liking. You can actually move these around kind of like a phone, just drag in. Just drag them in and out of spots by holding them down. You can use, you can go into controls, put your heated seats and heated steering wheel on. The car is off right now, so it's not letting me do these functions. Obviously, I like just like change the temperature because it will tell you the car is off. So he's blocking those, but it's dual climate control, so each side can have its own temperature. And you can of course turn off those buttons, heated seat and heated steering wheel. Radio, you have AM, FM, and Sirius with 12 presets each. You can view a map on here, and you can have you can turn on HD or turn it off. I don't know why anybody would turn off HD radio off. Audio controls, equalizer, balance and fade, and speed adjusted volume. You can change in here if you would like. You also have autoplay. Uh, media is your Bluetooth, your aux plug, and your two USB plugs located right below the analog controls right there along with the power plug right here and more power in the center console which has two shelves climate i went into application you have wi-fi hotspot if you want it is a subscription based service so you do need to pay for it controls navigation fairly easy to use where to view map home or you can just ask uh your vehicle to take you there and android and apple carplay we're only going to show one of them they are going to show the android car uh, android auto um, it is very simple to use, just four, five different options. Your navigation, if you want to go see Google, or um, if you want to go into Waze, you can also see Waze. Your phone calls, which you can see. Your uh, You can go back to the general menu, which has like weather, recent calls, and stuff like that. And you can, of course, play your music from there and see what's going on. Quick Mix L Alpha, my favorite artist. I actually don't know who that is. It's the camera lady's uh, phone that's connected. Um, Besides that, it's pretty much pretty much it. Of course, you can do a lot of stuff with these controls below, which some people prefer. Um, I like these sometimes too because going through the touchscreen, sometimes it takes a little bit longer just turning a knob. However, it is easy because you have those controls in the steering wheel as well, so you technically never have to pretty much press this except for temperatures, which you can also do on the screen with a slider. A lot easier. 4x4 controls are right by the shift knob. Sand, auto, snow, rock, and mud. Of course, four-wheel drive, low, and hill descent as well. Illuminated cup holders. Just because I didn't mention it before, this is a 3.6 liter V6 engine. Very fuel efficient and just good all around. Standard stereo system in these vehicles is good enough for most uh, for most listeners. However, if you want to get the true good sound quality, you can go up in the trims and then start picking options for your uh, upgraded sound system. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time at Jack Phelan Jeep Dodge Chrysler M. We're out in Countryside. We do have a Phelan Direct program we just rolled out, which allows you to buy the vehicle from the comfort of your own home without ever having to step in into the dealership. What you will do is you will find a vehicle you like, reach out to myself at 312 672 1819 3126721819 we go over the pricing and your payments we go over your credit and your different options and then once we decide which way we're going we will have somebody bring the vehicle out to you sign the paperwork at your home or office depending of course on the distance if you are further and out of state we do have a program where we ship it to you however if you're past a 40 mile radius it will cost you uh, for the shipping uh, you can of course get all the paperwork to your home fill it out and fly in just to pick up the vehicle without actually having to do any paperwork in the dealership minimizing your time outside of your home so we can mail you the paperwork beforehand very easy and swift process people love it okay uh, follow us on facebook instagram twitter as i mentioned Mr. Hollywood, out.